If I turn this chorus off, the Vivian Campbell live tone disappears. Listen. Right? It just it sounds muddy, doesn't sound bright, doesn't sound maybe Camelish or Welcome back. Today we're going to do the guitar tone. It's a live guitar tone of Vivian Campbell Dio Live in Japan from 1985. That concert is already on YouTube. It's an awesome concert. Uh, he's not playing with his uh, black Les Paul. He has a custom Charvel, I think it is. It's like a wood type of strap body super strat with some weird design. It looks pretty cool. But I love that live guitar tone of Vivian Campbell. So this tone right here as you've already heard in the demo, uh, is the live guitar tone as best I can emulate back in Check out Vivian Campbell live in Japan 1985. This is where that tone came from, right? Let's go ahead and see what I have here. I don't know pretty much any riffs or deal I used to, but this is about the tone, not the riffs of Vivian Campbell. So let's give you the tone, all right? Um, so again, we're using a high gain stack, which is a modified vintage Marshall. So whenever uh, amp model you have, look for a vintage modified Marshall, and that's the amp that I chose. As you can see really fast, uh, look at my, uh, the, the, the bar levels. Perfect, you don't see any little circles on the bar, so my volume and, and levels are perfect. So let's get back into this. So we're going to go into the amp. So again, this is my amp modeling. It's a high gain stack for Boss. For you, it would be a vintage modified Marshall or modified vintage Marshall. There's my gain at 98 and my effect level at 50. Again, if you don't have my exact positioning, not positioning or numbers, look at it as you would a clock. So that would be at 3 p.m. So I put my gain at 3 p.m. So I'm almost at the full, full blast. I think this high gain stack goes to... Um, Let's see, um, 120. But it's true, the story, right? I want to have those clean uh, choruses in there. So I have mine at 98, all right? So that's where we have it at. And it just had a massive. And in person, this tone sounds massive, right? So let's go ahead and begin. So there's my amp, my gain, and my effect level. There is my bass. My middle, my treble, and my presence. Go ahead and look it up. 
<laughs> no, don't mind my planes. I don't know any riffs. All right, what's next? There is my teacup. It's on and it's at zero. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. It will not affect your tone, but it's what I happen to have. My teacup is at zero and it's on. What's next? Uh, I do not have any compressor. See the bottom right? It says off. Let's go ahead and look. See, there is my all the effects that I have in process. So I have, I'm using the amp, but no compressor, so we're not going to use any compressor. Uh, I am using uh, overdrive distortion. Let's see what I'm using for this tone. So for Vivian Campbell to sound massive and loud, this is what he was using. Uh, I'm using the Moss Overdrive OD1. If I turn the overdrive off, Add the Vivian Campbell Overdrive. If you want to call this a Dio guitar tone pass, you can call it Dio instead of Vivian Campbell. Have more room on your name. So you can call this Dio 1985. Or you can call it Dio Live 1985, whatever you want to call it. I know it doesn't go like that, so don't come for me, all right? So my settings for my overdrive is there. There's my drive, my bottom, my tone, and my effect level. This is for the overdrive OD1 pedal. Play with your overdrives. You may want to try a tube screamer or something else, but a uh, clean overdrive, OD1, uh, or a simple overdrive will get you there. Because remember, if I, <clears throat> if I turn the overdrive off, put that overdrive with that little delay, or little drive. What's next in this tone? Uh, there is my noise gate. Remember, I always keep my noise gate pretty much right at 50, 52, 48, 50, 52. And this tone is incredible for rhythm, but it's also a great lead tone. So this tone is a one size fits all. And it's massive. It's total 80s live metal. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Now, I do have EQ for this tone. If I turn the EQ off, listen, the tone goes away, listen. <laughs> Put that Vivian Campbell EQ back on. So there's my low gain, my high gain, and my effect level. I have a lot of gain, right? See? But it's quiet because I have the noise gain on, alright? What's next? Now I don't know what settings or what effects he's using. It's just all by ear. So lock this in. If you hear things differently, you want to add more chorus, less chorus, more delay, or something else, tweak it. Make it sound good. These are the Marzio Super Distortion pickups. Alright? Next, there is my low mid frequency, my low mid Q, and my low mid gain. Mm -hmm. 
There is my high mid frequency, my high mid Q, and my high mid gain. That sounds good. Listen to the delay. See, it sounds loud enough to carry you over. What's next? And there is my low cut and my high cut. Now, you're probably wondering how I get my tone. Obviously I'm using chorus. I don't know if he was using chorus, maybe he's using a stereo chorus, or a harmonizer back then, who knows, but it sounds chorusy, but not too chorusy, but it, it, it thickens it up. And to prove my point, let's get into the chorus. And if I turn this chorus off, the Vivian Campbell live tone disappear and listen. Right? It just it sounds muddy, doesn't sound bright, doesn't sound maybe Camelish or 1985. You put it on though. So I have the chorus. Let's see what I have here. I'm using the highest stereo mode for me. I have mono, stereo one, stereo two. So whatever stereo chorus you like best with your setup, uh, pick a stereo chorus. There is my effect rate, my depth, and my effect level. Now this took me a while to dial in because I kept playing with the effect level. I was high, I was low, I was medium. I didn't want to make it too chorusy, but I knew it was in there. If he's using that, again, you can be using a harmonizer. Uh, and making it sound coursey, but I hear it and for that live video it sounds perfect I think. <laughs> I forgot all my Dio riffs, but one day we'll go back to that, alright? So there is my chorus. That's a, Remember the, the chorus? Turn it off. Put my chorus back in. Alright, we got two more parameters and we're done. So obviously, I have no idea what his delay is, but it's what I heard on his... When he was soloing or playing some rhythm, I heard some delay. And so I try to emulate that. If I take the delay off, listen. <laughs> Sounds kind of dry, right? Sounds good, but it can be better. So I set my delay at 290 milliseconds. There's my feedback, my high cut, and my effect level. Let's put it back on. Hear that? It's a fast delay. Now to make this sound really good, I put my high cut all the way down to one. I didn't have enough flat or anything like that. Because I didn't want it, I, you want delay, but you don't want it to be a delay tone. I put the delay for body. So it, it would sound good live, or when you're jamming. It's in there, but you don't hear it, except when you stop it. But picture the bass and the drums. Alright, 
to finish this tone, there is my reverb. You may have a whole bunch of reverb types, so select one that suits your that suits you to your liking. I'm using a room. There's my reverb time, my high cut, and my effect level. If I turn the reverb off, remember it's playing live, so this is a, a live tone. This tone sounds different, right? Put that reverb on, it sounds massive. That is my Vivian Campbell 1985 live guitar tone from the uh, Dio Live concert in Japan from 1985. Give me that concert a listen to, check that concert out. Uh, maybe you hear things differently than I do, which is fine because everyone hears things differently. But use this as a building block if you like this tone and accentuate it. Take more of this, add more of this, take you know some of this stuff off, but make it sound better for you based on your rig and your setup. But this is what I have, and uh, when you plug it in, it sounds really massive in person. I'm telling you, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody, and don't forget to tip your favorite guitar player. The link is below if you care to give me a tip. If not, I'll still be here. Bye, everybody. But if they like what I do and they're, they're happy uh, learning from my channel, uh, then by all means, Hit your favorite guitar. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, all of you, and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.